here. All right, let's check in with Alan Janae. He's live in Greenwood Village. Alan, how's it looking down south? Well, Dom, I can tell you the last of the snow in the metro area is following, uh, falling here in the south side of the metro area. I-25 is in pretty rough shape. I just drove here, saw two cars do a meet and greet on the way down. There is still a lot of snow built up on the roadway. Now, they started with flurries a little bit earlier, but then the snow just got heavier. The first thing it did is turn rush hour tonight into a slush hour. The highways around the metro area got bogged down as heavy snow fell. In the foothills, things were crawling along I-70. The state patrol said numerous vehicles were stuck on Floyd Hill and Highway 40 was stopped due to stuck semis. In Denver, the smaller streets began to bog down as well. Couples out to start Valentine's weekend were looking for a warm spot in downtown plows work the streets. We talked with people challenged by it, including two women from Arizona and a woman who had just arrived at Union Station from California and was waiting for a ride. Kind of a driving snow, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit cold. I used to ski, though. You're not in Arizona anymore. Yeah, no, no definitely not. <laughs> Is that an Uber driver? How do you react to this? Not well. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's cold. We definitely didn't it's pack wet. for this. No, did not pack appropriately. No, not at all. I want to get out of the snow. I <laughs> bet you do. I'm just coming from the gym, and now I'm going to go head home and order some food. <laughs> Have somebody bring it to you? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Once I'm in, I'm in. Understood. Now remember that as these temperatures drop overnight, that snow on the roads, which is still there, is going to turn into ice, so that's going to make for slick driving well into tomorrow. In Greenwood Village, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Well, at least they were smiling. Alan, thanks so much. Well, many parents hope.